What's up guys? This is KD Cloudy and iOS 14 just dropped for a whole bunch of iPhones and people are really loving this update, especially the new widgets. They're just going crazy and ham with the home screens. But more importantly, AirPods customers, AirPods users also got a couple of new updates and features like multi-device support through seamless switching. But more importantly, what I was the most interested in was the new spatial audio feature coming in iOS and iPadOS 14. And I have, I have reiterated over and over again and expressed my love and obsession about Dolby Atmos and all the AV tech and I was really compelled to make this video. So I got myself a pair of AirPods Pro, didn't buy it, borrowed, thanks to my buddy Anil Pal who arranged it for me and updated the firmware, watched a bunch of movies and here are my thoughts and everything you need to know about spatial audio tried and tested. So let's just jump into it. Now what is spatial audio? Spatial audio is an example of virtual surround sound and you know what? I've actually made a completely dedicated video on virtual surround sound and Dolby Atmos on phones. I've covered a lot of stuff in that 7.1, 5.1, everything you need to know about Dolby Atmos audio, everything. And I really recommend you check that video out first and come back to this video if you want to get the best possible information. So yeah, like I said, spatial audio is an example of virtual surround sound, which means that when you have your AirPods Pro on and you're watching like a Dolby Atmos or a surround sound mixed content, it'll actually feel that everything is actually going around you. And Apple has actually a very good track record with implementing virtual surround sound on MacBooks and their iPhone 11 series. And with the AirPods Pro, they have absolutely nailed it right off the park. Now, the way this actually works behind the scenes is that there is a lot of processing, a lot of math, a lot of a lot of algorithms involved to create that spatial experience. Specifically something called HRTS or head related transfer functions, which will basically emulate audio, which is right up close to your ear, which is through your earphones and change its frequency and other characteristics to make it feel like it's around you and a couple of feet from you. Uh, so that's pretty, that's pretty nifty. And it's not really something new. Uh, we have had binaural audio for a long time through open codex through without any trademarks. But I really think that spatial audio feature will introduce this concept of virtual surround sound to a lot more other people. Now, Apple takes it a step further by adding dynamic HRTF data by tracking your head movement in real time and compensating your audio for your head movement. It's just, it's just it's so impressive. The technology behind it itself is so interesting and I think even non-Apple users can appreciate Apple for it. Now moving on to the next part, does it actually work? Well, yes. Now I tried this feature with a couple of movies and I'll get to content in a bit. Uh, and all of these movies were at most mix and through the Apple TV app. And I mean, it was just a totally mind blowing experience. The sound stage just suddenly expanded. Like so it, it felt like sound was actually around me and like sound was coming through invisible virtually rendered speakers in my physical 3D space. It's, it sounds crazy, I know, but that's just how it is. But more importantly, with Atmos, like the unique selling point of Dolby Atmos is height effects, like overhead audio. And I've talked about this previously. Uh, and overhead audio is hard to virtualize, especially with uh, sound bars and even the MacBook speakers. But now that you have dedicated earbuds right in your ears, it's much easier to replicate. Now in this scene in Mission Impossible Rogue Nation, as you see the helicopter is just landing on the helipad, you can actually feel and hear those loud helicopter blades spinning right above your head. It's, it's just totally something else, it's amazing. But I would go ahead and say that if you're not actively looking for it, if you're not actively uh, looking for all the sounds and where they're coming from, you actually wouldn't notice a difference. It, it's a very subtle difference and to the untrained ear, you might actually not be able to appreciate it, but that's where this the, the head tracking feature comes in, which is officially called the Folio Your iPad feature. You can turn it off or on in the accessibility settings. And I think that makes a big difference. What it essentially does is that when you're watching a movie and you turn your head sideways, it shifts your audio accordingly to make it feel like it, the audio is coming from your iPad. And it's, it's it sounds weird now that I describe it, but when you experience it, it's just so trippy. It's, it's just super trippy. You need to experience it for yourself. 
and in my opinion the follow your ipad feature makes all the difference without it it actually the expanded sound stage doesn't do a whole lot and doesn't immerse you a whole lot so definitely turn that feature on and you know what combined with the active noise cancellation of the airpods pro and also the spatial audio feature combine them both and it actually feels like you're in a acoustically treated auditorium like a dolby atmos theater but you know to be honest the whole performance and the immersiveness of spatial audio largely depends upon how active your mix is what type of content you're watching and that brings us to the next portion which is content where can you find content what apps support it now all of my testing was done by watching uh, purchase movies through the apple tv app and the movies i watched were gravity gravity is basically has one of the best atmos mixes on any movie uh, aquaman one of the best atmos mixes on any movie again lot of overhead action lot of high channel activity uh, then ford v ferrari pretty good atmos mix and also mission impossible rogue nation again excellent movie and an excellent atmos mix and like i said all of these are atmos mixed movies and that's why the uh, separation and the entire spatial effect was much more distinct and clear but the spatial audio effect also works with 5.1 and 7.1 audio so even hd movies which are not 4k will support this but that 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 feature that that separation is not quite as distinct um when you're watching just plain 5.1 movies like mission impossible ghost protocol now what if you want to watch your locally downloaded content now you might have a large collection large collection of movies like i do and unfortunately if you if you play those movies those mkv files through infuse infuse or vlc both of them don't support uh spatial audio just yet since they don't use apple's built-in quick time encoder uh but yeah apple's uh built-in in quick time player through photos app or the files app will support spatial audio and if you want to tip off the spatial audio feature or activate that spatial audio feature what you need is at least a 5.1 mix encoded in dolby digital plus aac or pcm won't work which is a bummer and it only works in an mp4 container and i know i mean it's apple the codec support is pretty limited in quick time but yeah i did custom convert a couple of trailers for no time to die dune and the batman in dolby digital plus using an ffmpeg script and i'll link li leave those links down below you can download them save it to your files app and play them uh the spatial audio works just fine in that case just to if you want to test out how local media works but other than that there are absolutely no apps there are absolutely no third party apps right now at the moment which support spatial audio feature now there is disney plus internationally in the us and other countries which will output 5.1 surround sound audio but in india that's not the case and netflix doesn't support 5.1 audio on ios devices prime video doesn't support 5.1 audio on iOS devices which leaves out only the Apple TV app and you know what combined with the lack of availability of content and the availability of this feature only on some recent iOS devices and only on the AirPods Pro means that a lot of like not a lot of people have access to this feature which sucks because this is such an excellent such an amazing feature i feel like more people should be able to access it and the fact that they cannot just sucks and i mean the potential is only limited by how many how many people are airports pro customers and hopefully that changes next month when they when apple comes up with the new airport studio which will most likely support this new feature and more and more people buy it and more and more apps support it especially netflix since they do output dolby atmos and 5.1 audio on windows apps so they so they definitely should bring that feature to ios so yeah the tldw of this video the summary of this video basically is that spatial audio is excellent it's really innovative i might say and uh, more and more people should try it but it's only held back by apple themselves and also content providers and we can only hope that this the support and the adoption of this feature gets better from now on so we yeah, have that's basically it thank you so much for listening to me nerding out about virtual surround sound and if you want to do more of that definitely subscribe 
to this channel right now uh, if, and like if you found some value through this video and yeah thank you so much for watching and i catch you guys in the next one cheers